Hello, grade seven. So this week we are finishing chapter seven, electrical circuits. So this is the last uh, lecture in this chapter. Now, the only objective that we're going to cover during this week's lecture is that you guys will be able to appropriate a lamp to a battery. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, Simply, if I want to build an electrical circuit, I'm going to need a lamp and I'm going to need a battery. But you guys can see I have different batteries. How can I choose the appropriate, the correct battery, you know, to this lamp? Um, you remember last time we talked about a number which is called the voltage written on different batteries. Let's say this one is 1.5 volt, 2 volt. 4.5 volts. Okay, I'm, I'm writing random numbers now. 9 volts. Okay, so what do these voltages mean? Uh, there is an entire chapter dedicated to the voltage, so I'm not going to explain it a lot now. All I'm going to say is that the voltage is the pressure. Uh, it is the pressure that, you know, pushes the electrical current in a circuit. So it pushes the electricity throughout the circuit. So the bigger the voltage, the more electricity it pushes in the circuit. Yeah, let's, let's keep it that way. Now, as you guys can see, we have different voltages, okay, depending on the, on different batteries. And another thing... So this voltage is the voltage given out by these batteries, okay? So they give this voltage because the battery is a source of electricity. Now, about the lamp, there is also a voltage given out. Uh, there is also a voltage written on the lamp. The voltage written on the lamp, I'm going to say it is 4.2 volt, okay? Now, we know that a lamp is not a source of electrical current okay so it doesn't give out electricity so what this voltage means this voltage is the voltage needed by the lamp to glow normally so it needs this voltage for the lamp to function normally okay guys so this is why in this uh in today's lecture, we're going to choose three different batteries and we're going to connect them to the lamp and we're going to see which is the appropriate battery to be connected to the lamp depending on how the lamp is glowing. Is it uh, glowing, you know, giving out a faint light? Is it giving out, you know, a normal light? All right, or maybe is it glowing strongly? Okay, so it depends on, on the, you know, outcomes of the experiment. All right, so let's start. Now, since we're not yet in school and we don't have access to an actual lab, so I want, uh, I just want this to be as real as possible for you. This is why I will be using augmented reality app, okay, which you guys can use as well. It is called Physics Lab. You can just search for it on your phones or on the tablet. And you can click on this one. It will take you to the app as well. So yeah, I will be using this app throughout this chapter. But you guys can use the simulation that we already work with. You know, the FAT uh, simulation. It works as well. But this one is much more real. Okay, so I will be doing three experiments. Uh, you guys can see these are the three experiments. You can see that all three circuits, they consist of a battery, a switch, a lamp, and connecting wires, all three circuits. And you guys can see that the lamps are all the same. Okay, 4.2 volt. This is the voltage needed by the lamp to function normally. So I'm using the same lamp in all three experiments. So what is actually, uh, what is, you know, the difference between these, these circuits? The difference is the battery. 
Okay, so you guys can see here that the voltage given by the battery is 4.5 volts, which is slightly greater than that needed by the lamp. So the lamp needs 4.2 volts. Okay, so I'm giving it a voltage slightly greater than that needed by the lamp. And we're, we're going to have to do the experiment and see what happens. And then right here, we're giving, you know, we're giving the lamp voltage of 9 volt, okay, which is way greater than that needed by the lamp. And in the here third circuit, we're giving, you know, the battery is giving 1.5 volt, which is smaller, much smaller than that needed by the lamp. So we're going to see how the lamp will behave in all three experiments. Okay, and yeah, we're going to draw out our conclusions. Okay, so once you click on the app, it will open up to this page. You go to Circuit Sandbox, which is on your top left, and you click that. It will take you to the lab. Okay, you can see on your on the you know bottom of the screen different electrical components. So you choose a battery first, drag and drop, you choose a light bulb and a simple switch. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is the this these are the electrical components of an electric circuit. Now I need to connect them together. So you click on one edge, one extremity, and then you click on the other extremity of the lamp. Okay, and it will connect automatically. Just like that, you click on the extremities and they will connect. Now to make things more interesting, I'm gonna switch to AR which will open up the camera, okay? And you choose, you can choose both of these. I'm gonna choose desktop experiment. So I will have the, you know, the lab right in front of me on the desk, just like that. Now, the you guys saw the three experiments that we have to make. The first one where the lamp, it's needed voltage is 4.2 volt in all of the experiments. So I'm gonna change that. You can see it was three. I'm going to put it 4.2 volt and that's it for all the experiments. This is the voltage of the lamp. As for the battery, uh, we have three experiments. I'm going to start with the third first where the voltage across the battery is 1.5 volt. It is already 1.5 volt. Let's see what happens to the lamp. It's not glowing yet because the circuit is open because the switch is open. So I will be closing the switch. What is happening to the lamp? The lamp is glowing, but it's glowing weakly, right? It's giving a dim light, a faint light. Now I will choose the battery. I will keep the circuit closed. I will choose the battery. Usually, guys, you will have to take out the battery and bring another one. But since this is a simulation, I can simply change the characteristics of the battery. So I will be changing the voltage. Okay, this, uh, the other experiment, the voltage must be, I will increase it into 4.5. Okay, remember the voltage needed by the lamp is 4.2 volts. So first of all, I gave it 1.5, the, the lamp, it gave a dim light. Now I'm going to give it a 4.5 volt, which is slightly greater than 4.2. And the lamp is glowing normally, you can see that. In the third experiment, okay, you can see in the first experiment where the voltage given by the battery was much smaller than that needed by the lamp, then the lamp uh, glowed uh, dimly. And then in the second experiment, which is this one, where the voltage given by the battery is slightly greater than that needed by the lamp, or it can be equal to that actually, and the lamp will glow normally. Now the third case, okay, which is actually, which was the second experiment, okay, so I didn't move, you know, uh, in the same order that I have written it on the PowerPoint. Now in the third, uh, in the second experiment where the voltage given by the battery is much greater than that needed by the lamp, so it was uh, 9 volt, okay, I will simply change that to 9 volt, just like that. Now I will be choosing, I will be closing the switch. I want you guys to look at the lamp really closely. Okay, 
So what is happening to the lamp? All right, so the lamp, it burned out. Okay, so it started lighting strongly. Okay, it gave a very strong light and then it burned out. All right, and the reason I did this experiment uh, to be, I did this experiment at last, because something happens in the circuit, the lamp gets, you know, gets burned and we cannot work with this circuit anymore. So we have to restart the app in order for us to rebuild another circuit, okay? So yeah, these are the three experiments. So after doing all three experiments, in the first experiment, you guys saw that the voltage across the battery was 4.5 volts and the voltage needed by the lamp was 4.2 volt. Okay, and you saw that the lamp glows normally. So we can conclude that whenever the voltage given out by a battery is equal or slightly higher than the voltage needed by the lamp, the lamp will glow normally. So the voltage across given out by the battery can be 4.2, it can be equal to that needed by the lamp, or slightly higher, 4.5, it works as well, okay? We can say that we are using the appropriate lamp with respect to the given battery. So this is an appropriate connection, okay? The lamp will glow normally. Now in the second experiment, we changed the battery into another one of uh, voltage 9 volt. Uh, and you guys saw what happened to the lamp. It lit uh, strongly for like a few seconds and then it burned out. Why is that? Because the voltage given out by the battery is much greater than the voltage needed by the lamp. It's too much electricity. The lamp doesn't need that much voltage, okay? So whenever the voltage given out by the battery is much greater than the voltage needed by the lamp, the lamp will glow very brightly and then burn out. And we saw that, okay? Then we say that the lamp is overdriven. Overdriven, it means I gave it a voltage of much greater value than the voltage needed by the lamp. And the last experiment where we changed the battery into another one of voltage 1.5 volts. So this was the voltage given out by the battery. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it is much smaller than that needed by the lamp. So whenever the voltage provided by a battery is much smaller with respect to the voltage needed by the lamp, the lamp either doesn't glow Okay, it might not glow at all if the voltage is really too small or glows very dimly. Okay, so it will, uh, you know, it, it will give a faint light. We can say that the lamp is underdriven. Okay, underdriven, it means that the voltage given to this lamp is much smaller than the voltage needed by the lamp. So yeah, we are done with chapter seven. I hope you guys found today's objective really interesting because it actually is. And yeah, I'll see you in the live session. Take care and bye-bye.